Cool. Wrong settings. Hi guys, Corby from Butterfly Glasgow. A quick tutorial on how to get BFA, Wi-Fi area on your Windows PC or laptop. Don't know how to do it for Mac, I apologize. Um, if you can't figure it out from my video, I will link the video that I used in the description. I will leave you all the links from his video as well for you to get everything. Let's just go on with it. So you're going to want to go on to your, your browser and you're going to want to um, you're going to want to download WinRAR, which that is an extract, an extracting, it's uh, extracting software. Because you're going to need it. So you're going to come here and you're going to go to the English 32-bit, uh, 64-bit, download which one your computer can run best. So if, because my computer is pretty strong, so it can run the 64-bit one. So you're going to download that, and then uh, you can pretty much forget about it, I think. But I had it here on my desktop just just so I could see it. And then what you're going to do next is you're going to go, and you're going to go to the bit where you download, copy. Uh, don't mind my browser, I'm a fucking trash weep, mate. And then, uh, so we're going to go here, and then you're going to want to go all the way down to Butterfly Arena 1.4, you're going to click full version. Then it's going to come up, oh oops, mm, we don't know if we trust this site, it's fine. So you go download and then you go download anyway. And when that all that downloads, it's going to be in your download folder. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to move it from your downloads to your desktop and it will come up here and it will look like, it will look like, so you see the wee Winmar? Here, so your win your WinRAR will be up here, and then it will have a buddy fight folder that looks like that wee icon down here. If you look at the bottom of the screen where my mouse is, it will look like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the folder that looks like WinRAR that says buddy fight area. It looks like this. You're going to click it, and then you're going to click extract. It, this one says compress to buddy fight area. What you're going to it will say extract to buddy fight area. So you want to click that. Um, you it just went straight to my desktop. I'm not sure where it will go for use, but that's not a problem. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the updates. Just so, so again, I'm just going to paste and go. So you'll come to this, the unofficial updates. So you click the top link for me. I had to right click this and then go here download. Don't know about you guys. So again, do this exact same when it goes into your documents, move it, f uh, not your not your documents, when it goes to your downloads, move it into your desktop so that it comes up in your desktop and it'll look like this, but with the WinRAR, the WinRAR uh, symbol on it again. Right click again, extract to, so that says compress, you're gonna wanna click Extract to buddy fatty blah 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 blah. Okay, so then you should have two new folders that look like this. These two here. What you're gonna want to do is go into the second folder, the buddy fight area ace unofficial update. Click on the folder and you're gonna wanna copy, highlight all these and copy them. And then go into the original buddy fight area 1.24, double click. And you're going to be greeted with all of this stuff here. What you're going to want to do is paste. So click on the folder. Mine is right. There you go. You're going to want to paste that stuff into this folder. And when it says, "Do you want to overwrite? Uh, do you want to overwrite these things?" Just click yes. Make sure that it makes a fresh copy of it all. Then you should be good to go. You should be able to run it properly. Because you can't play the online version without the up, the unofficial updated stuff. Don't know why. For me, it just wouldn't run for some reason. But basically, guys, that is it. So then you can so then you go into so if you want to make your screen big big, you press one. If you want to make it medium size, which it is for use as you see it right now, you press two. And if you want to make it real small, you press three. Uh, so you can go in a deck editor. You, you can make any decks, all the decks are down here, 100 demon stuff is here, and 
when you search, not all cards are named. So you need to like, because for Prismatic Bless, I had to type in, or for Prismatic Prisma, I had to type in like Prism Prisma or something like that. Not all the cards are the same. You just need to do a wee bit of hunting, but it for them it's not so bad. Uh, then you can you can test decks. So uh, what we like to do is when we play a spell, we place it. So you basically just like click card and where you want to put it basically. So you can place it back in your hand, blah blah blah. So what? So say you wanted to play this and search the Zerbros, you would place it here so that your opponent gets a chance to read it and make a counter. If not, you resolve the effect. So say we search out Zerbros or an Overcrest. Say we'll just take Overcrest, even though we have one. Take Overcrest, place us into the drop. Easy. Uh, pay two gauge, click the gauge. One, two, cast. Even though it doesn't, you know what I mean. It's just for an example. Um, you can, so when you search your deck, once you close the deck off, you want to go here and shuffle deck. And then if you added a card to your hand, shuffle your hand so that your opponent doesn't know what cards watch. Uh, if you can't be bothered, just, uh, if you can't be bothered, do right click, send to soul, click here. You would just go here, gauge card, gauge card, gauge card. And these here, if you left click these, so this guy gains 15 uh, plus 15k defense when he's by himself so you would click defense 15 times left click it and click him and it adds it and if you want to subtract uh, subtract stuff from your monsters you right click we're gonna do just do 15 again and click on him and he goes back to 10 so that's your attack your defense and your critical this is your standby phase your draw phase your main phase your attack phase in between attack and end would be your final phase so you just stay in attack phase and then end phase. Uh, right click when you're attacking. So attack. He only has one attack. So you click. Uh, buddy gift. Right click. Your life is up here. Boom. 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 Uh, chat box. Here. Uh, yep. That's basically it guys. Honestly. Uh, when I search something. I like to. When I search. So say I'm searching Dragon Emperor Legend. I like to place it here. Because this is where your opponent and you can see your other cards. So I would search this, let him look at it, place it in my place it in my hand. And then for set spells like this card, I would place it in here so that it so we know it's in play. Because we can't place stuff here in here. So which is kind of frustrating. But set spells and searchables, this is where I usually put them. And then again, when you want to play a card, place it here, give your opponent a chance to respond. If they say it's okay, boom. Uh, resolve effect and put in drop easy when you want to put stuff to soul click you right you click on it you click here send to soul boom in here and then you can open soul room strange strange but yeah so send to soul here open soul take that so click this boom simple really really simple unfortunately when you're testing you have to close off the application to reopen it unfortunately it's just it's just how it is honestly uh, so to connect do not under no circumstances do you change this number or you will not be able to connect to the server do not touch that number whatever you do okay so you enter your nickname create a nickname for yourself boom pick your character boom then you go to registration, put your nickname in again, make a password for yourself, boom, log in, and then... Sorry guys, I just had two freezes in like three seconds. But basically, this is it. Then you just, you right click, you right click on someone who's grey to, uh, or you left click on them to request a duel. They, so you'd go to deck load, you would load the deck you want to play with, blah blah blah. Yeah, and you should be able to find each other pretty easy. So guys, I hope this helped you. I will link the original video I used for downloading it if you can't understand it from my way. I'll put all the links in the description, even to the Discord server as well, uh, where anyone will help you. Anyone will help you. The community is really lovely in there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was very helpful. Like, comment, 
subscribe and ring that bell for when we post more videos you'll get notified because I am plan on uploading a lot of this and a lot more actual games because I got this through the post today so my deck should be arriving and then after my deck arrives I should be getting all my foils in the deck will be shiny shiny and I want to get some actual games with it but yeah so thanks for watching guys what if I go out peace